Tonight, the information superhighway, an online network called Internet. It spans the globe like a superhighway. Everyone I know is on it. It's very hip to be on the Internet right now. Can you explain what Internet is? This is the Internet. A place where you can instantly talk to someone on the other side of the world, share your thoughts, pictures, videos, experiences, make fake news stories go viral, and openly express your weirdest ideas. The internet has been challenged to do things in the past, like the time a British government agency asked the internet to name its $287 million polar research ship and ended up with Bodie McBoatface. Or after Pitbull was sponsored by Walmart to ask his fans to vote for which city in America with a Walmart to go to, and they ended up choosing Kodiak, Alaska, the most secluded Walmart in the country. Yeah, the internet is basically like the Wild West sometimes. So in the spirit of seeking the ultimate discomfort, we decided to challenge the internet to dare us. The plan was to spread the challenge on our YesFam Facebook group, on Instagram, and on Reddit. And whichever dare we find the most insane yet possible to do within 24 hours, we would have no choice but to go for it. Walk across California. Did we not mention somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> this has been done 24 hours. Celebrity and get them to go on an adventure with you for a day. Wow, it's a good one. Come to Italy in Florence and I'll take you to eat some Lampredotto sandwich. I'm down. <laughs> I go all the way to Italy for a sandwich. But is it uncomfortable? No. Try every food at a theme park and ride the biggest ride. Invest money in NYSE. What's that? New York Stock Exchange? Nope. <laughs> Convince 100 people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. In the countryside of Hungary, nobody could do that. That's really funny. <laughs> it is Black Friday, Cyber Monday right now. And with every purchase from SecretScuffer.com, you get a hat that says Yes Theory. We've never put the logo of Yes Theory in anything. Only with the orders over the next 72 hours, if you get something from SecretScuffer.com, you get that hat. And it's only exclusive for this drop. It is five hours since we posted the challenge and on Instagram, someone just wrote, I challenge you to go polar bear plunging in Alaska. It's when you basically go into a frozen lake in a frozen environment and you make a little hole and then you jump in, you spend like a few seconds down there and then you go back, and then you go back up. Whoa. And Matt hates the cold. Wow. <laughs> When the outside is, is way colder than the water, I feel like you go up, your clothes start to freeze. God, that looks unenjoyable. Your body just goes into shock, right? Like you just freeze completely. Yeah. It's gonna be the coldest you've ever been in your life. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, it will be. We gotta have a car with like the heat. Bla I want like, it, we should burn the car. Not just like turn the heat on, we should just burn the car and go in it once we once we're out. <laughs> what? I'm not excited about this one, boys. <laughs> At this point in the dare, Matt and Amar realized that they didn't really want to do this alone, so they decided to invite our friend BC along. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I like what you're wearing. Yeah. Comfiest merch in the game. Not being paid to say that at all. I literally wear this every day. It's actually kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go to Alaska? Tomorrow. Really? We can't tell you what is it that we're going to do there. But <laughs> we just accepted it there and we were just like, oh, are we gonna go do this miserable things alone? <laughs> Is this serious? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah baby. So wait, it was supposed to be you two and then you were like, let's just bring BC. Let's just bring someone to also be miserable and to add to their actions. Miserable? Wait something. a second. Are we jumping in the water? <laughs> we're gonna do a polar bear plunge in Alaska. <laughs> Someone dared you, let's go to Alaska and jump. Oh my god, dude! And Matt does it too. I, dude, I hate the cold <laughs> so much. So my roommate, Louie, and it's it's like funny, like me and Matt being cold and you being cold, but he's miserable. He hates it. He, it's, he said, he literally said before he did, he goes, it's my biggest fear. Is he at the house? Should we go yeah. and try and convince him? Okay, let's go to him. <laughs> this is kind of funny, but it also like, it's super mean. I literally think this is the only thing he'll never do. Oh, yes! <laughs> That's like, this makes it way more fun. The other day, yeah. when you told me what your biggest fear was, what was it, do you remember? Yeah, was it the ice water thing? We're filming an episode today where we accepted there from the internet. Right. And then there's one that, that sounded pretty uncomfortable <laughs> to do, which is go do a polar bear plunge in Alaska. When are you going? Tomorrow night. We'll fly oh. to Alaska and then come back. <laughs> Like, we'll make sure we're safe. We'll make sure we have like blankets and a car with blasted heat in it. But it's not about safety for Louis. It is about him being miserable. <laughs> Are we going to Alaska? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Don't let me die. Don't let me die. Please don't let me die. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> it was a deep, deep burning like 
I just need to be hot. Or, or, or. <laughs> but Mario has connects in Velasquez because you have to carve a hole. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. I've slept the whole night in the hot tub before. That's how my body is like. <laughs> what, dude? Everyone else gets out there like sweating. I'm like, mm. <laughs> to be honest, he could actually die. <laughs> The following day, an hour and 15 minutes before the flight leaves, nobody except for Matt was ready to leave. Who's got the key? Amar. <laughs> We've been doing this for three years and it's only gotten worse. The level of preparation on this trip was just clearly top notch. So I messaged Raya, my girlfriend, just saying that I was going to do this. First response was, is there a doctor present? I'm really scared for you. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, I'll tell them. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a doctor. So we're, <laughs> so we're literally just gonna find a frozen lake in Alaska and jump in. Is, is that it? Here's the issue. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's raining where we're gonna land, so we're gonna need to rent a car and drive about three hours north until it freezes, and then we're gonna look for a lake <laughs> with just, a, with just a, a bunch of towels, and then and then we're gonna just blast the heat in the car, and once we jump, we come out. Have a good trip. Okay. That's right. They made the flight five minutes before takeoff, and as they arrived in Alaska, they realized for the first time how cold this was actually going to be. Wow. <laughs> it's like suffocating the cold. <laughs> it's, it's like hitting me now. How how f***ing hard this is gonna be. I'm good. I'm very warm. Because the seek discomfort winter line, baby. <laughs> <laughs> After a cozy night of sleep in the hotel, it was now time to complete the dare. I'm ready to go. <laughs> We're about to do something really, really dangerous and gnarly. Dude, I know, because I was thinking in my head, every time I'm like jumping in the ocean or I take a cold shower, there's always the sun afterwards. No sun today. As Amar just mentioned, this can actually be quite dangerous, especially if they decide to do this alone. So he thought it'd be wise to reach out to our Instagram for help, and luckily, Rachel reached out and introduced everyone to her roommate in the US military, Mike, that both agreed to help. What's the situation, guys? We're just realizing how insanely underpacked we are. And, and under, we don't under, we don't, already, we don't know anything. <laughs> like, I, I am like going to die. I feel like I'm gonna die. With early sunsets in Alaska, there was only a few hours to find the perfect lake to jump into. Yeah, so there are a couple of lakes that we know that are frozen. My worry is some of them are like solid enough to where people are walking on them. And I don't recommend that because like if you go underwater and like there's a current, like you're just yeah. But I think there's probably a couple that are like half frozen over that are going to be closer to Anchorage. Probably an hour tops. Let's do it. So the weather is changing on us fast. It became so foggy and rainy and windy. Just like that. But as they arrived to their first attempt, conditions were horrible. I don't even want to leave the car. <laughs> I don't want to leave the car. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Are we doing it? <laughs> Yikes! Oh, Yikes, guy! <laughs> that was miserable. I'm freezing. This was the first. And time. I just spent five minutes out there. I'm <laughs> freezing. We're going north right now, and we're starting to see so much more snow. Significantly more snow, even on the side of the road. And... But the second lake was unfortunately not much better. This, look how legit frozen that lake. <laughs> I'm feeling terrified. I have never walked on a lake. I have never done this before. This is the thing. We went from one extreme of a problem, which is not finding any ice, to finding too much ice. Okay, we got a definite plan now. Um, we have two friends that are north driving south, checking out two lakes for us. How far are they? Uh, 20 minutes. Really? Yeah, it's like 30, like 30 minutes. Go! 20 minutes. And we have the sun until 5. Yeah. And also, if we do it in the dark, that's super Alaskan. So yeah, like, it is. So I guess as they say, third time's the charm. Whoa, dude! That is what we've been looking for the whole day. This is no. not real! <laughs> so the plan is, back of the camper is gonna be heated with a Mr. Heater, propane heater. The back of my truck is gonna be heated also. As soon as you guys get out, we're gonna dry off real quick and then put you in this blanket, which is the first blanket I've ever used. I've camped out in like negative 20 degree weather with a snow. Wow. Set. It's so inconceivable that we will be all go in there right now. It's the least logical thing our brains and our biology of our safety could yeah. be like. Everything in my system is like, yeah. run. Yeah. Run for your life. I don't know if I've ever been this scared. 
Is this it? <laughs> what are you feeling? Utter terror, like terror, like the deepest fear. This, this is my greatest fear, it definitely is. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta just go, dude. Yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta stop waiting, we gotta go. The more we wait, the more we anticipate this, the harder it's gonna be. Come on, Rich! Come on, Rich! Yeah, wait, let's think this through. Don't just jump in, let's think this through. We're gonna set a limit of two minutes where that's like our maximum time in there, just so that we don't. Might have to be less than that. <laughs> I'm not doing more than 10 seconds, bro. So, whoever dared us, here goes. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to initiate our first ever dare accepted from the internet, hopefully not the last. We are in Alaska, we're in Anchorage, Alaska, and we are about to jump into freezing water out in freezing weather. How do y'all feel right now? Amazing. Yeah? I feel alive doing this. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, I couldn't feel further from amazing. <laughs> I just don't understand how you feel amazing. <laughs> After a crazy day of driving around in the freezing weather of Alaska, they completed the dare with even Louie surprisingly ending it with a smile on his face. That wraps up another epic adventure and if you're interested in getting a free Yes Theory hat for our Black Friday sale, go to seekdiscomfort.com right now and make any purchase over $15 within the next 48 hours and it'll be yours. We'll see you next week.